Okay, so the ultimate question in golf when we have a risk reward par four, what should I do? Should I go for the green? Should I lay up? Should I play it safe? Am I better off having a wedge in my hand than trying to hit that green off the tee? Today we're going to discuss that. We're going to see exactly what would be better. We're here at Providence Golf Club. This is the fifth hole out in Orlando. It's a little bit breezy and luckily enough for us it is down wind. So I can actually hit a three wood to this hole however there's water short so first of all the alarm bells should be ringing because there's a huge water hazard in front of this green so what I like to do here is think about what are the pros and cons so the pros are obviously I can stick this close I can make eagle I can be a hero the cons are I can put one in the water but knowing the rules of golf I can put one in the water drop just the other side of the water and still have a wedge in maybe hit a good wedge shot and still save pass so you've got to think about it logically that way I could also play a really good four iron off the tee, hit a wedge into the water because the flag is tight to the front, then I've got the same shot but I've hit another shot. So a lot of people might think, well actually the safe play is to hit an iron, but realistically the safe play might be to go into the water earlier. I know that sounds ridiculous, but let's have a go. So I'll go iron first and we'll go three wood, and I just need to play one out to the left hand side here to give us a nice little wedge in. The hole's playing 275 yards downwind, and I've done everything I want to do there by hitting a 200 yard four iron just down the middle of that fairway. Now what you could do there is plan the hole, think strategically rather than doing what I've just done there and making the same mistake by just hitting a four iron as far down there as possible. Think about what you're comfortable with with your wedges. What distance do I want left into this hole? Because generally a lot of people aren't going to be that confident from 40, 50 yards like I might have there. A lot of people might prefer 100, 120, 130 yards in, in which case it's okay to hit a six iron or a seven iron off this tee. Now, the fun part. We're gonna go three wood, and usually I'd go driver here, but we are off a slightly forward tee, and it's downwind. So I can hit this three wood around 250 yards. With the wind today, 260, that should get us over the water, and the flag's on the front. You've also got to think, is it worth the squeeze? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Because if I hit it long of the green, it's actually a downhill, putting a downhill chip towards that treacherous water. So I'm thinking of all the pros and cons here. Now I'm just gonna fade one in towards, hopefully, that flag. Let's see what we can do here with this three wood. It's gonna to have to be a good swing, which it is. That is absolutely perfect. Keep fading. Keep fading, we've definitely got the distance, and that is dry, because I can see it. It's gonna be a tiny chip from the left-hand side. Let's go and assess and see which ball we're more likely to make birdie with. Chris, which ball are we gonna make birdie with? The iron. Do you think? Yeah. Let's find out. Yeah. Right, 69 yards, 70 yards if we say that the buggy is a, a yard forward. And you can see what I mean about having a difficult shot now. I've played pretty much the perfect iron off this tee. It was a four iron, albeit this is what we've got left. A lot of golfers here, the technique would let them down. They might catch you a bit heavy. This Florida turf especially is quite difficult to pitch off if you don't know what technique you're going for. So the ideal shot here lands probably two yards short of the flag. It just kind of releases nicely. You can see the three wood shot there if uh, Rob wants to zoom in. That's flag high. So a, a little bit more fade there, and that literally is the perfect shot. I would definitely now rather have that shot than this shot, and the three wood was an okay shot. So, right, I've got a 52 degree wedge. I'm not gonna try and be too adventurous. Is that good? Is that good? Oh, is it ever? I played that pretty much exactly how I wanted to, and now I've probably got seven feet for birdie. You can see I've still committed to that. I've still taken a divot. I haven't tried to pick it. What a lot of people would do here is either duff it or they would try and just get it a little bit clean so they don't duff it. If you do that, you'll catch it with leading edge. You'll hit it in the water anyway, and you're not gonna be too pleased. Let's go and try and have a go at that chip, see if we can get it inside, because the chip might be more difficult now to get inside that layup shot. Overall, guys, what would you do here? Get in the comments and let us know. I think I'd still go for it, even though I've just hit a good one there. What do you think to my logic so far? Because that's a nice, well, it's a good effort for birdie, isn't it? Now I just need to get the chip closer than that, and realistically then you would say the logic is you go for this hole. Well, you're in the rough now, obviously you did catch the fairway, so you had a better lie when you was uh, off with an iron, but 
Again, you've left yourself a reasonable chip, but it's all dependent if you do carry the water. We know you had to do that with the chip shot or the pin yeah. shot, but again, if it's a hole that maybe it's bunkers here and not water, it's still, I would say, the percentage shot is to hit something short of the water and play over. So my logic was if I go in the water, I can still take a drop and still make par from the tee. If I go in the water from the fairway, more people are going to duff the wedges than they necessarily are going to hit it in the water off the tee. Potentially, but if you do go in the water, you'd have to take your next shot back over the Good water shot, anyway. good shot. I didn't even However, think of that. If you can hit it long, long's not a bad place to be. Yeah, you'd hit driver, wouldn't you? Yeah. I felt like I played that well, to be honest, because it was sat down a little bit, and the last thing I wanted to do was duff it and then have egg on my face. Which one's closer? It's going to take all day with these size sixes. Two feet closer from <coughs> over the water. So, not too much closer. Would you say that's worth it? I wouldn't say so. <coughs> you? Yeah. I thought you might somehow. In or out? Oh, take it out. Finish it off before I start another one. <clears throat> that was par. An easy par. And yeah, very easy par actually. Easy par. I think I definitely had more chance with the uphill putt, and I gave myself an uphill putt because it was easier to do so from here than it was all the way back there. But guys, two pars, get in the comments below, which would you play on this fifth hole here at Providence Golf Club? Huge thanks for watching. If you are new here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Apart from that, we'll see you at the same time tomorrow. I'd go for this all day.